Hello everyone. Alright, today we're going to look at LFO tool and some cool things we can do with it. So, I've got here uh, a rendered kick and bass from my track. It sounds like this. Alright, so if we end up in a situation where we've got our kick and bass rendered and we can't go back for some reason, but we want to affect these bass notes separately from the kick or the kick separately from the bass notes what we can do is grab an LFO tool I just make it a bit bigger so you can see what I'm doing and what we're going to do is turn on the oscilloscope sort of reading and make this half quiet and this half loud so we should just get the second and third bass note Okay, that's about right. So what we can now do is group our LFO tool, create a copy of it, and on the copy, we're going to turn the sort of modulation depth all the way to minus 100. So now, on one part of our chain, we should have the bass notes. And on the other part, we'll have the kick. And, and the first bass note. So, all together, it just should just sound like we did in the first place. Which is pretty handy. So let's say we want to affect the bass and uh, in this instance it might not be necessary but this is something that sometimes can sound pretty good is uh, removing a bit of the low mids from the transient of our bass. So what we're going to do is get another LFO tool, chuck it on the Base uh, chain, and we're going to set it to sixteenths. Make it a bit bigger again for you. So yes, we'll set it to sixteenths. And just sort out the phase. Okay, so we've now just got the first part of each bass note coming through. Uh, so it's important to do this low mid uh, reduction that you you use a sort of uh, you know it should blend between the start and the uh, and the after part so that you don't get a sort of instant uh, wave of low mids coming through. You want it to sort of have less as it starts and fade into the normal. So I'll set that up. That should do the job. Now we're going to group the cellophane tool. Do the same thing we did last time. Pull this to minus 100, so now the bass note should sound normal again. Alright, and then on the just the transient. Part, the sort of first cycle or so. What we're going to do is use an EQ. I'm just going to carve out a bit of the low mids. Okay, 
And we can also EQ out other little bits that we don't like, but this is just sort of so you can see the technique. Uh, and this is what I would do if it was needed. So, all right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to gain match our transient. So before the EQ, our transient was minus thirteen point one. With the EQ, it's lost point three. So we'll just add that point three back. gives us a slightly more pleasing transient. Uh, it's not super appropriate on this space, but sometimes this is this can be very, very handy, especially if you can't go back to the synth patch and tweak it from there. Okay, so now we're gonna look at just purely adding more transient power to our base. So we're going to get another LFO tool, check it on this base chain. In fact, I can just I can just copy the old base chain, uh, the old LFO tool chain that we use for the low mid trick. Get rid of the CQ. Get rid of the second chain. So this time. We want it to be more of a violent cutoff for the uh, for the ducking. So we're going to give this a nice hard curve like that. Now we don't want to get any of this sort of early low mid information in, so we're going to pull it right back. to about there and you can tweak this uh, until you get it sort of exactly how you want it but we will be here forever if uh, we tweak it perfectly so yep there we've got our beginning transient copy the chain set that to minus 100 so now now we can control the volume of our the initial couple of milliseconds separately from the rest of our base. So let's let's give it a couple of dB. Okay, so in this case, I, I actually just added one decibel, but it certainly makes it pop through a bit nicer. Okay, so another cool thing you might like to do with this is just use uh, just use EQ on the body. Uh, you know, if you want to pull out some frequencies, but it helps the body, but it kind of ruins the transient a bit. You know, you could just EQ one or the other, or if you wanted downsampled or you know bit crushed uh, transients, but not the body, or vice versa, you can do that. Um, so yeah, hope you enjoy the video, and um, see you next time.